sort of inspired you and stuff like that, but that's later on down mm. the line. Wait. First of all, my full name actually is Wila Emo, so that that's like lightning. Oh, yes. And, uh, and, yeah, so I was my, actually my mother. She um, um she named me after her her dad's brother. Uh, growing up, she had a close relationship with her uncle. So yes, yeah, so, so she thought she'll name me after her uncle, her fair uncle. Yeah, I think he was more. More buff than me. <laughs> Both my parents come from Samoa. Yeah. So my dad comes from a village in Samoa called Fasitosa. And uh, my mum comes from a village in Samoa called uh, Faliarili. Mm. Yeah, so but yeah, both my parents are from Samoa. Um, so my dad came from Samoa on a scholarship yeah, to New Zealand to do a um, dentist. Yeah. But uh, and when he got here, man, everything just his plan just went out the out the window. Eh? Yeah. So yeah, so he met my he met my mum at a volley game in out in East Tamaki. Yeah, so it all went from there. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm the second oldest of five boys. Uh, so yeah, there's no girls. So. Actually, I, I, I like it that way too. Yeah. <laughs> my brothers uh, growing up, man, all my dad did was just train us. Eh? And my older brother was like. He was the lazy one out of us, always getting hidings. <laughs> me and my little brothers were always laughing. So yeah, that's one memory I have of my yep. brothers growing up. So I know we trained up here in Ota, yep. well, we trained all over on Mook TV. Oh man, it's making us run up these hills. <laughs> I think we were only like 10 and he was making us run up these hills while he was in the car with my little brothers. <laughs> it must have helped QE. Oh yeah, it did. Um, discipline me and my brothers. Um, yeah, no, it didn't help us a lot growing up, so no, it was good. If it wasn't for my dad, he was the one that got us into playing league. Um, we were just, our homestead was on Ota Road, just over there. Yeah. Just around the corner, so we were brought up over there, so I thought it was, my dad thought it was convenient to bring us over. Yeah. Yeah, and then it just went from there. I started at the age of six. Uh, my dad. My dad brought us here. Uh, I started here in the sixes, and then yeah, I'm still currently playing right now. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get back into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What type of school feelings that you sort of go, man? I remember playing with him. Is there any names that sort of ring a bell that you go far out? This is what he had. This is what he had. Uh, see what Oh wow. wow. Remember when he was just coming up, and um. I was like one of the old fellas in the team, and I was like, ah, look at this little fella, man, you know? You know, just watching him now, ah, he's, he's it, ain't yeah, you right. know, just seeing him, like, he started off in, in, as a fullback. What he the hell? Off, yeah, he started off as a fullback. No way! Yeah. And then just to see him be like, you know, the number one prop in the NRL now, right now, I was like, bro, that's massive. That's incredible, It's man. incredible, yeah, it's just buzzing, eh? Yeah. And just watching him and his, um, you know, just the power that he has. That's me. Um, Charles Langway. Oh, oh okay. man. This fella, he's, he's a beast, dude. Yep. He should have been up there, man. He should have made it, but... Uh, What's his name again? Charles Langway. Charles. What position did he play? He was right? a centre. I remember him coming through, too. I was one of the senior players on the top side. Yep. And um, Solo had the under-18s. Yep. And our coach back then was Willie Peace and I remember when um, Willie Peace sent me actually yeah. and then Solo took over as the Prems coach and he brought all his under 18s oh, yeah. and I remember this was one troubled kid eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, he was out the game bro. Charles Langway yeah. man, he, was, he had the talent he had everything he was a good player man yeah, even so, so now so speed speed he had the strength, strength the power wow yeah, nah, yeah wow. Was, that's one of my good usos too wow yeah. To be honest, man, I was like a lazy trainer. Eh? I had the talent, but I didn't put in the hard work. Eh? Yeah. So I got I got my my foot in the door, but I just didn't take the opportunity with two hands, eh? yeah. and it's kind of regretted. Eh? Um, yeah, it's kind of sucks. Yeah. You know, can't go back in time, and yeah. you know I should have done this, should have done that, but well, that's all good. I guess a, a, a big highlight for me. Uh, there's a few actually, but yeah. this big highlight for me was uh, I think it was. 2014 grand final uh, against East Coast Bays, Barracudas. Yeah. Um, 
that was the permission to make the fox. Prior to that, two years we we went down, we went the down. Last hurdle, yeah, yeah. but that year was a big highlight for me because not only we won, but we, I think we only had, I think two losses that year. Wow. We had a mean record. Um, got to play alongside my my two brothers. Um, we we're all in the same team. Got to play against my best friends. Uh, I, I, uh, alongside what? my best friends. And yeah, that memory will stick with me forever. Eh? That was yeah, one of the big highlights for me. There was a few, <laughs> few shots that I done. I done that. Um, yeah. Try saving tackles. I done yeah. that game. Uh, I scored on the finals as well. Uh, my best friend scored on the finals. So yeah, and I was, I'm extremely humbled. Eh? Um, when I got that phone call from Solo, oh man, I was, I was, just shocked. I was in shock. Eh? Yeah. Um, to be recognized as a you know as an icon yeah, that's massive forever grateful and i'm just honored to be a part of this project um i mean a lot to my family especially my parents especially to my dad because he was on that um brought me through when i was young was at my games every saturdays um yeah just if it wasn't for my parents you know i wouldn't be here you know i'm grateful and yeah, just to the young scorpions coming up, um, you know, just wear the jersey of pride, you know, where you come from, represent hard, um, you know, take league serious, you know, you want to make something out of it. Um, just, yeah, just take every opportunity with two hands and don't regret anything, eh? But, um, yeah, just represent hard and wear the jersey of pride. Um, I just want to make a shout out to my uh, my cousin Andy Niola. He um, passed away from he passed away last week. So, um, cousin, I just want you to know that I love you so much. I'm grateful. I thank thank you for everything that you have done for me. Um, didn't get to make it over to Oz, but um, yeah, this one's for you. Love you, cousin. Thank you.